Hi, this is Tommy with Tommy's Piano Corner. The place for returning pianists, or indeed anybody who loves playing the piano, to share tips and ideas about how to get the most from this great hobby. In today's video, I'd like to share an idea I've got with you about playing at speed. Are you like me and you find that when you try to play quickly, you start to build up tension in your hands and then your arms, then your shoulders and sometimes even into your back? I've got a theory that this is due to what I'm calling brace for impact. It's an idea that you sort of expect to play wrong notes and because you expect the wrong notes to be there, your hands automatically tense up to try and avoid playing the wrong notes. I think it's a little like when you fall over that your body will automatically tense up because it's afraid of hitting the ground. So on that basis, if we can get ourselves to a point where we no longer expect to be playing something wrong, then wouldn't the tension sort of just take care of itself? If you're sitting comfortably, then let's begin. One thing that I'm sure is true of all great pianists is that when they play, they don't expect to play wrong notes. In fact, they probably don't really think very much about individual notes at all. Their main focus is on the overall interpretation of what they're playing. There are lots of things that have been identified as causing tension when you play the piano. Things such as locked open hand positions, keeping your hands outstretched when you're playing octaves and that kind of thing. Continuing to press down on a key after the note has sounded, when of course that pressure produces no other effect. Now I'm not disputing any of these things because definitely they all do cause tension. But I think there are also there are other reasons. For example, one of my longer term projects is Chopin's Study the Bees, Opus 25, number 2. When you play this, in actual fact, there's no real stretching involved, there are no locked hand positions. So on the face of it, nothing really that should cause any tension with your hands. Yet, whenever I try to play this at speed, the tension starts to build up and sometimes to an almost debilitating point. In fact, when I was younger, when I was learning up to my grade eights, I pretty much avoided playing anything that was fast. Clearly, I would learn pieces that had small, fast parts within them, but nothing that was very long. So, for example, Beethoven's sonatas, I learned some of the slower movements of these, but never bothered trying to learn the faster movements. I didn't even learn some of the basics, such as Rondo alla Turca or the Allegro from Mozart's C major sonata because these had far too many notes in them and were far too fast for me to want to try and get them up to that kind of speed. When I first thought about relearning, I decided that I'd need to find a way to get over this technical problem, this speed block, for want of a better word. One of the pieces on my hit list is Chopin's Fantasy Impromptu, which of course needs you to be able to play at speed with great clarity and great conviction. I'm absolutely determined that I'm going to be able to play this, so I really do need to get over this technical problem that I've got. To ease myself into this, I've decided to try and learn a couple of pieces which to me at least are extremely fast, maybe not to everybody. The first is Chopin's Minute Waltz, which has got a tricky quick right hand. And the second is the Opus 25 number two study that people nicknamed the Bees, which is an extremely fast, crisp study, mainly for the right hand again. As I started practicing each of these, I started to notice that sometimes the tension would only build up in certain places. It wouldn't be there all the time. There would be passages where I could play it reasonably relaxed, and yet other passages where tension came very quickly. But then I also started to notice that predominantly the passages where I wasn't getting tension were the passages that I knew I could control reasonably well, so I was probably anticipating less wrong notes or missed notes or uneven notes in these, yet those small passages where I found the fingering a little more awkward or difficult to do, 
Those were the ones where often I would feel this buildup of tension and feel it extremely quickly. For some of those easier passages, when I felt a little bit of tension build up, I found that more often than not, all I would need to do was go back to re-drilling it in smaller sections and just focus on those sections and focus at the same time on letting my hands relax. And that would generally fix the problem. However, for the harder parts, this didn't really seem to work. Therefore, if I'm right, what I really need to do is try to get rid of this expectation that I'm going to play wrong notes, and the tension should largely take care of itself. I think this is where the combination of technique and practice come together. If you're prone to playing a particular wrong note, then that's almost certainly due to a problem with your technique. Do you need to angle your hand a little more? Do you need to use a tiny bit of rotation? Do you need to move your fingers closer to the fallboard or closer away from them? Do you need to lift your wrist? Do you need to lower your wrist? All of these things that can make a difference to whether or not your finger easily finds the note that it's looking for. And this, of course, is the real tricky part, because to be able to identify these things when playing at speed is not at all easy. I think whilst you're practicing something slowly, you can't always necessarily work out where your technical problem lies. That's why I've taken to doing the small bits fast approach, where you take small groups of notes, could be three, could be four, could be six, could be ten, and you practice these, you drill these quickly, as close to performance tempo as you think you can manage at that point in time. That way you can at least see where recurring problems happen and you can work through how to fix them. I did once see an interview with Martha Argrich where she said that speed to her was never ever a problem. She was playing fast music from a very young age without issues really. I'm not afraid of speed on the contrary. No, on no, the contrary, no. that's my problem. That's your problem, yes. Speed is my problem yes, instead yes, of being yes. the, you know. Yes. Yeah. You're a sort of sterling mass of... Yet she didn't particularly like learning octaves and trying to play octaves quickly. Something with octaves. You have something about with it. Octaves. You can say yes, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, uh, so uh, if I hear it coming, you know, and I know they are not playing octaves, they're just playing things and not, <laughs> and I have to, then I think, oh, I mean, what I'm going to do? And then I, I get nervous, yes. and then instead of. Uh, so I'd be interested also to know that is speed something that never really bothered you when you learned? Anyway, let me know in the comments. I'll be delighted to hear from you. If you're not already, then please do subscribe to Tommy's Piano Corner. Click the little bell icon so that you're notified of new videos as they're released. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.